DM073 Gaming is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory. If you're looking for pre-orders of the upcoming sets, including Time Spinning Witch or the new Structure Deck, singles, or booster boxes of previous sets that have come out, you can check the link down below. Happy Little Hug Factory also has a buy list for Force of Wills, so you can get rid of those extra cards you have laying around and turn it into new upcoming product. Thanks so much, guys. Check them out and enjoy the video. Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the deck list for the Welser mid-range that was played by Ryan Miles this previous week. Sorry for about the little bit of delay, um, we're just trying to get things kind of up, caught up around here and preparing for the pre-release. But, I wanted to still get you guys the list, so obviously we are using Welser on his front, you can pay... Um, for Wicked Spirits and Crests with Fire, and then he can tap Crests to produce Will of their color to help him flip. And then on his alternate phase, he's a 15-15 that when he enters and every time he swings, gives all J slash res your opponent controls three minus one minus one counters, and when he enters the field, puts a Beelzebub, or any Wicked Spirit, but primarily Beelzebub, uh, into the field. Uh, so a big, big tempo swing when he does come into the board. Um, stone base, we run four Blasting Waves, uh, four Scorched Bales, and two Ebon Home. We want ten Fire Sources to be able to play those Crests and Wicked Spirits all the time. Uh, and then we're green, black, red for our color base there. Uh, moving into the cards here, we have four Crest of Light, four Crest of Water, and four Crest of Darkness. Um, Crest of Light in this variant of the build is still very, very good. Uh, can make Sylvia 10-10, can make Joan to Arc very much big. Um, can do make your mod water margins bigger, all kinds of stuff, and it couples nicely with the light margins. You also play two Admin of Demon King, it's just an additional way to be able to help Welser flip early. Uh, two Severing Winds, and then sp four Faith in the Darkness to help us see most of our creatures. The only thing that isn't a two drop in this deck or less is a Beelzebub, who will be brought in by obviously Welser himself. So we run uh, four Water Margins for drop power. Four Light Majins because with Light Crest they enter as two drop 10 tens. Uh, four Sylvia because they help stop, uh, help us get damage through by locking stuff down when it swings. And then three Joan to Arc because she gets to do some really awesome stuff with counters, um, getting those neg counters and coming in with uh, the, you know, uh, extra damage that she does with the uh, Faith in the Darkness. Uh, two CLs McKay. Familiar McKay so that we can try to see Beelzebub more frequently or the crest that we need to do judgment. And then of course Forge Beelzebub to couple nicely with the Welser's minus counters and just start killing things very, very quickly. That is it for the list though. It's pretty straightforward, but I think it is a lot of fun. I think Welser after this next set is potentially going to have a lot of options or a lot of uh, viability in the meta. We'll just have to see what the ban list shapes up to be. But let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. And until next time, this is DMO73 signing off. Huge thanks to the patrons of the channel, you see their names here on the screen as well as down below in the description. They are what help make this channel run and help me do these awesome projects for you guys. If you feel like joining the channel and get access to all the cool perks that come with being a patron, click on the P on the screen or the link down below. Thanks so much, see you next time.